Seattle. Rapid City Mayor Steve Allender issued a public safety message regarding a protest as planned for downtown on the 4th of July due to a possibly creating what he calls a public safety hazard. Greta Gady spoke with city officials and has more. NDN Collective, an indigenous-led organization, posted on social media that they will hold a protest to walk in solidarity against injustice and systematic racism. But this protest is raising concerns for the city because of previous acts by the group, including being deceptive of their plans and not applying for permits, according to Mayor Steve Allender. Although a march is being advertised, we don't think that's the extent of it. We think there's going to be more demonstration activities that are going to highly inconvenience or otherwise put the public at risk. NDN Collective held a protest on the 4th of July two years ago that ended with four people arrested for scaling buildings to hang flags. According to the city's safety message, the group has recently held training seminars to teach people how to protest using blockades, tactical media, and climbing. We need the public's help. The public has far more eyes and ears, as you know, than just the government does. And so we need the public's help to report suspicious things. People who may be scoping out a building uh, that may be easily accessed for climbing, uh, someone uh, who sees people um, um, acting in any suspicious manner uh, leading up to the 4th of July. The march will take place on the first day Mayor-elect Jason Solomon is in office. And he is asking the public to be responsible on the holiday so resources like the police and fire department can go where they are needed. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Greta Gady. And we reached out to NDN Collective for a comment, but have yet to hear back at this time.